hi friends in the previous video we have seen about the if condition right and you can have a doubt also that we have written a if condition so is there a else condition in the angular yeah it's there there is an else condition we can also write if and also else condition in the angular but it will be a little bit of different in angular so for example if you want to write if condi else condition or something like that you can do reverse of this one for example here if his user is created i want to show this user is created and the username is like this if it is not created that means that is an else part only right so no user is created we can keep like this no user is created we can keep like this so if it is user is created fine or otherwise we can create it like this now if i try to check the output here now if i refresh it this one it refresh if i refresh this one i got an output that no user is created fine in this way we can write but if you want to write in a coding standard something like else condition how we can write in the angular so writing an else condition in the HTML template in angular is little bit of different uh, coding in there so i will tell you so now what we need to do is whichever the data whichever the html part you want to show it in the else part you first you need to write ng template okay so whatever the data you want to show it in the else part you need to wrap it with an ng template and here in this one in this div you will write no user is created okay you will be writing like this and we need to give a local reference for this one so we will learn more about this local reference in the future videos so just think of it as it is a marker or marker or something like identifier of this one so i can create that no user or something like this okay okay am i so here you will be writing it no user is created in the ng template i will be wrapping with the ng template ng template is the default one it's present in the angular now here i want to show ng template no user means so here i need to write semicolon else and i need to give that no user like this okay so if you want to show the data in the else part so you need to wrap that one in the ng, ng template whichever the thing you want to wrap it in the else condition it will show it in the else condition you need to wrap it in the ng template and you need to give that identifier and here in this ng if you need to mention else no user now if we try to check the output you see here now you here you got an output that no user is created when i click here you'll be able to see that user is created and the username is test user okay so in this way we will be writing the else condition in the angular so it might look somewhat little bit strange for us also a little bit of new also while writing the else condition angular so angular has some little bit of different uh, syntax when we are writing else condition in the html template uh, so uh, we can implement this else condition so normally we can, if you want to implement this else condition you can implement it like this or otherwise normally what the people in the angular will be doing is so we they will be reversing this ng if thing okay if they reverse the ng if thing is nothing but the else part only so we can use that re reversing that condition so that it becomes the else part so most of the places we will be using we will be using like that only but ng template this lg else condition is also else option is also present in the angular so that is the reason i want to mention it to you in the else condition so this is the else part in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you